Hi guys, welcome back to my guide channel. In this video, I'll guide you through every way to earn skill points in Lost Ark. There are two ways you can earn skill points in Lost Ark. First, leveling up your character level. On each character level, you will earn 3 skill points. Currently, level 60 is the maximum you can reach in Lost Ark. You can earn good amount of AXP from side quest, cast dungeon, raids, Una's task, and boss rush. You can also purchase AXP potions from guild shop and traveling merchant ships. And once your main character reaches level 52, you can use training camp on stronghold to earn extra AXP for alternate characters. Secondly, Obtaining skill point potions. There are many ways you can obtain these potions. I'll go through all of them in this video as detailed as possible so you don't need to look for more info elsewhere. Press Alt D or click this icon under the minimap and search skill point potion. Just check on this window before you follow this guide so you don't repeat once you have already completed. Let's get started. First, Quest Reward. A light cast over the dark field. You will receive this quest while you are completing Lutera main quest. By completing the quest all the way to the end, you will obtain a skill point potion. Egg in the sky. While you are completing any cast main quest, you can take a yellow chain cast from the NPC located here. You can obtain a skill point by following this quest. The Hidden Robber This is a hidden quest in Shushaya starting with a necklace you obtain from field drops. Come to this location and killing these rats will give you a necklace and you can start the hidden quest by right-clicking the item. The Stone of Power By completing Serenity Island Purple Quest, you can obtain a skill point potion. Return Trip This quest can be done in Rohendel. You are required to finish repairing the seal site Una's task for 7 days, complete 5 hidden quests and 1 side quest as a prerequisite to start the quest. Hidden Quest 1. Go to this location in Lake Shiverwave and investigate books to start the quest. Hidden Quest 2. Go to Brisbane Bray and investigate this book underground to start the quest. Hidden Quest 3 starts from Monsters Drops in this location. Hidden Quest 4. Go to this location at Zanella Ruins and investigate this book underground. If the book is inactive, you must clear these three side quests. Then the book will be activated. Last hidden quest starts in the middle of the Elzoin Shade. Investigating this book will start the quest. You will need to move near Phantom Place and find this yellow area to complete the quest. There is one more side quest you need to complete at Rodan. Talk to Arberth and complete the Tower of Thanks quest. And then finally you can receive a purple quest called Return Trip in this location at Lake Shiver Wave. The Sunset Once you complete all Rehendel main quests, you will receive a purple quest called Strange Mail. Following this quest all the way to the end of the second awakening quest will give you a skill point potion. Just keep in mind that this quest has 7 chain quests to complete and it takes a very long time. 
Those buried in the dark ground. You will get to complete this as part of the Phaeton main quest. The last melody of a requiem. This quest needs 4 days of pre-quest to start with. Day 1. Complete market investigation quest from Nameless Valley. Complete Den of Buried Scene from Calder. Complete Black Eye of Fate from Kinsera. Next day, receive another quest from Kinsera and complete Kinsera's Lucky Day. By completing this, you can receive a chain quest called Letters in the Jar from Lucas. Then you can start another chain quest called Phaeton Wild Cake from Kale. The cake quest takes 3 days to complete. Second and third chain quest starts here. Once you finish the chain quest, you can finally receive the last melody a requiem purple quest from Calder. Eternal Love. This quest takes five days to complete. Starting point is located here. Second and third day quest starting from Grandma Benesa. Fourth day starts at Starsen Beach and fifth quest starts from Mail Carrier Alice. Tower Rewards By completing floor 20 and floor 50 for each tower, you can obtain 4 skill points portion in total. The tower floors are unlocked by item levels. Shade Spire requires item level 420 for floor 20, 540 for floor 50. Fate Spire requires item level of 920 for floor 20, 1040 for floor 50. Whispering Island After you complete the Yuan main quest, you can enter the Whispering Island. Complete purple quest from the island and start the Una's quest. By completing all Una's tasks, you can get skill point rewards. It would require 3 songs to complete all of them. Giant Heart You can get skill point rewards by collecting giant hearts. You can get giant hearts by completing floor 35 for each towers and from field boss Tarsila rewards. Exchange with pirate coins and Yenas coins at these locations. You can also get giant heart by completing Una's task from Duki Island, Azura Win Island, completing quest from Wisdom Island. Shadow Moon Market Also from Repo Rewards Probably Repo Rewards will be the last giant heart you would collect as most of them require very high virtue stats. Island Token Rewards You can get a skill point portion by collecting 20 island tokens. I have a guide video to obtain fast 20 island tokens, so if you follow that guide, you should be able to receive the reward fairly quickly. Omnium Stars Once you unlock Punika Continent, you can now start collecting Omnium Stars. By collecting 2 and 6 stars, you can receive skill point potions. One from the purple quest you received from Nia after the main quest. One by completing Punika's Una's task called Pond of Purification. One buying it with 8000 sun coins from Punika's traveling merchant ship. One from field boss rewards. One from report reward from Nia. One from Garden of Despair dungeon at Anguished Island. 
Adventures Tombs Reward. Completing East Lutera 70%, North Fern 60%, Shushaya 50%, Rohendel 70%, Punika 80% will give you skill point potion. Ignea Token By completing 100% of each continent's adventures tomb, you will be able to get an Ignea Token. Collecting 8 of them will give you skill point potions. I personally recommend these 8 continents to complete first. It can be slightly easier than others. This is the end of the skill point guide video. It contains a lot of info in this video and it can be overwhelming, but if you follow one by one, you should be able to get all of them eventually. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, then I will see you guys later.